Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the part of a plant which is known as the fruit, which develops mostly after the process of fertilization. So let's see what are fruits. Fruits, this is a mature ovary with or without seeds. So there are many fruits which mostly have got seeds. There are other fruits also which do not have seeds. So they are mature ovary. Actually, we have discussed in the previous videos that the ovary after fertilization, it tra gets transformed into fleshy substances, fleshy uh, parts, which are known as fruit. They can be there can be presence of uh, seeds that is coming from the ovule or without seeds also. It is a mature or ripened ovary, right, which develops after fertilization. But there are exceptions. What are the exceptions? If sometimes the formation of fruits can take place without the process of fertilization that is fusion of male and female gametes of the flowers. So if fruit is formed without this process of fertilization of this uh, type of fruits are known as the parthenocarpic fruits. This is a very important type because this is a deviation from the general type of development of fruits because which is followed by the process of fertilization then only the ovary develops into fruit. But here the ovary uh, here without the process of fertilization develops into fruit. So these are known as parthenocarpic fruits. Let us now take a look on the structure of a typical fruit. So the fruit they have a presence of the fruit wall which is known as the pericarp. A fruit also may have got seeds and at times they may not possess seeds also. So the pericarp we are talking about it is thick and fleshy. This pericarp, it is mostly differentiated into three different layers. We have talked that this pericarp is mostly formed from the outer wall of the ovary. So outer wall of the ovary after the process of fertilization develops into this pericarp. This pericarp gets differentiated into three different layers. What are these distinct layers? The epicarp. Epicarp is the outermost layer as you can see over here, right? And this is a typical structure of a mango and this is from coconut. So here the epicarp is the outermost layer of the pericarp. Then comes the middlemost layer which at times mostly turns fleshy and pulpy which is known as the mesocarp. And the endocarp is the innermost layer inside which the seed is present. In case of mango, these uh, mango, the epicarp or the mostly the pericarp, they develop into fleshy and pulpy substance because of which the mango has got pulp. Whereas in coconut, what happens this mesocarp it is mostly fibrous in nature. So based on the way these uh, different layers of the pericarp, it develops the type or the texture of the fruit also differentiates. So in this video, we have talked about a typical fruit. We have also talked about the typical structure of a fruit and the different layers of a typical fruit, which are the epicarp, mesocarp and the endocarp. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.